Hello, my Sock Universe. We did it. We are at the eighth and final part of this year's Champions League jersey review. And yes, this is a group where we also have already looked at three of the teams in the dedicated league reviews. So it, this will be an easy video for me. I just have to re-justify the choices that I make. That's usually good. No, I'm actually barely looking at grades. I'm trying to regrade them and then let's see how consistent I am. Um, I know roughly what I've given. I know what, what, what I've, I've given and then let's see if I will stick with it. Um, as I said, we have uh, looked at many of these already uh, here, but we will start out, of course, in this very exciting group of death with teams from England, Germany and France, uh, with the team that finished last and the rank outsiders, and I always go, I always have been going from uh, team finishing last to team finish first, and this team is, of course, Bajak here from Istanbul, who last season were with Macron, and now they are with Turkish supplier uh, Big. Bilsi, Bilsi, Bilki, however you call that. Um, it took me a long time to figure that one out. To me, uh, that they have a dedicated Turkish supplier can either mean one of two things. They are Turkish champions, and since they have such a close relation to the Erdogan uh, administration, let's call it Ad, Ad administration, not necessarily regime, they say, yeah, we have to be all Turkish. That's one reading. The other one is, yeah, uh, Turkish football is in a really big trouble at the moment financially. And so maybe Macron as a supplier said, uh, 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 we're going to gotta go make it cheaper. I don't know what, 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 what it is. I would think it's a little bit more the Turkish national pride uh, thingy. <sighs> what can I say about Bajakshi here, home jerseys? Uh, orange. I think when orange or just looks nice, I don't know. I think this should be a dark blue. It looks more black to me here. And that is kind of what does not really sit well with. I think if this was a more, um, a bit slightly lighter blue tone, I think this jersey could look uh, a little bit better. Uh, there's also a sort of a pattern, uh, kind of wildish pattern on there. But to be honest, the jersey is, I mean, is not, 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 nothing offensive. It actually looks overall all right. Uh, just some small things. I think I can give this yeah, six stars. I think it's not exciting, but it's also not bad as well. I do like, of course, the away jersey. I mean, here this hits all the rights, but this is the blue, and I, I guess it's the blue that, 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 that was on the home jersey. But uh, here everything looks a little bit better. First of all, we have a really nice color that always uh, makes or breaks a shirt for me. Then um, the patterning on the wings of the collar, I like the only thing I don't understand why it extends below the, the collar opening. That's a little bit weird. But then also the tail with the white and the orange is nice. Uh, maybe a little bit overdone here on the sleeve cuffs. There you have this again, navy and white and then have orange. I think that there you should reflect a little bit what's happening on the collar. But I think overall, pretty nice looking shirt. I have to have to say, I really like this one. Uh, let's go nine stars here. What we went high, we coming down way low. I think um, Away Days called this the, one of the worst shirts of this season, and it's hard to disagree. First of all, earthy colors, and no. <laughs> uh, also, the way it, it, it goes with the orange. I mean, orange and this green is not a great look. Uh, the navy, okay. But then, uh, in addition, the, are these owls? I guess those are owls that are flying over there and then the bees from the, cre uh, the crest. Honestly, it's a whole lot of much. I don't know who came up with this idea. This is definitely trying to make a spark and try and failing spectacularly at it. Two stars. Let's go to United, which I am wearing, kind of to show you what a nice United jersey should look like. Um, I have to say again, and I said it before, um, the jersey itself is not that bad. The only problem is with all these specs, especially with the yellow, when you look at it in game, the red gets faded out. It looks much paler than for me a United jersey should look like. A United jersey for me should have a bright red color. This doesn't have a bright red color. It has kind of a fade, fade, fade color. I'm actually fine with the white accents. I think I use, 
I'm all those people. I think I like United jerseys often, although I love this one with the black collar, uh, but often with a little bit more white than black, um, I like it better. The Chevrolet sponsor in full color is just, is one abomination that I really would like to get rid of it any United jersey. Um, if, you know, if they just could make the white outline, it would be fine. At least the gold and the silver somewhat uh, reflect with the yellow and the white on the jersey, but it's a... It's still too much of a contrast, to be honest. Um, it's smack down the middle jersey for me. It's not really bad, but it's not good either. And since the the red fades out so much, I actually go with the five stars that I gave it. I really, really, really do not like the swamp-like um, away jersey. That one and this one is used way too often by United uh, when they could, I think, arg argue that they could sometimes use the red one and then they uh, pull out this one. What were they thinking? I mean, it's the same, earthy color, but for me this is swamp-like. I know United has been putting out a lot of black jerseys and maybe they wanted to do some, something different. But then again, full color sponsor on there, which is not as intrusive as maybe on the home home jersey, but still does not really fit with it. But this, uh, the first time I saw it, I thought, oh yeah, another black jersey. Then you look closer. No, this is mud. And then with the texture on it, it remains mud. And it, I cannot stand it. Three stars. Though, and this may surprise you, I love this third jersey. I absolutely love it. I, this is one I really would like to have. Um, yeah. Unlikely I will get it uh, this season or, or whatever, but you know, who knows? I really, really, really like it. The only downer is that the pattern doesn't continue on the back, uh, that the back is uh, plain white and you basically need to put a number on there for it to look nice. But this is a really, really, it is so different, but it stays within the club's uh, color scheme. I mean, even that um, crest is monochromatic, but it's in red, which actually fits when you look here. I mean, they just took the yellow out and made it white. It doesn't look out of place. And then you have the black, you have the white, which, which is a perfect away jersey. Uh, I really, really, really like this one. Um, is it perfect? No, because because of the back and maybe also the full color color sponsor that drops it down a little bit. But it's something different. And, you know, black and white will always please me. Eight stars. It's a really, really, really nice one. And then we go to Leipzig. Uh, yeah, what can I say about Le uh, Leipzig? I mean, Red Bull jerseys often are very tame. And I have to say that the first time I saw this one, I thought, aha, what, what are you trying? Again, specs on the side doesn't look exciting, uh, especially since you don't really see them. I mean, it's all about the sides. But how often do you see the sides on a sock, 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 sock jersey? It was also about the big yellow bar on the, on the socks, which doesn't really work either. <sighs> Non-exciting, five stars. It's, it's a typical Red Bull jersey, not more than that. Um, the away jersey in purple, I already hate because of the color. And then uh, you have orange, but then you have two shades of yellow on, on there as well. This is so, so, so messy that I, it's an abomination. Two stars for that one. I'm a little bit more for uh, this uh, Europe, supposedly European away jersey with the swirly pattern. I like last seasons a whole lot more. Here's a little bit too swirl, a little bit too orange. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. I do, don't get me wrong, I do like it. I still wonder if the model here, based on the two, is actually Dybala. But, you know, that's a different story. But, yeah, I think it is it is the best Leipzig jersey of the ones we've seen so far. But it's a little bit too much. And, I again, the orange, I would rather like to see this paired with some red or maybe some, you know, some more red bull colors. The orange is what uh, bugs me. But... It's six stars, but I, you know, uh, Leipzig just ha have it already very, very hard to get in my co my collection. It needs to be something special, and this will not knock on the door uh, there either. As I say, probably the most useful alternative jersey is this red one, because it provides perfect contrast. It stays within the brand very nicely, uh, and it actually looks half decent. Is it exciting? No, it's a red jersey with some white, but I think it looks overall all right. For that reason, I think I'm more than happy to give this also six stars. And you see six stars for the Swirly jersey, and for this one tell, tells you that I like a strong look, 
where the Swirly jersey tries interesting things but ultimately fails with the color scheme. So that's that. Let's go to the big boys because we have a lot to talk about there. I said in the Liga jersey review, I was so happy that the classic PSG look is back. This is for me a classic PSG jersey. However, then I was also so disappointed. I meanwhile know that the way that the color is done, the sleeve curves, that is actually the original design and PSG is celebrating 50 years uh, this season. So I understand that they weren't trying to go to, to, to the original design. But uh, on, honestly, I like this design much better where you have the um, uh, blue and the red here and then on the sleeve curves also. Uh, the blue sleeve curves with just the red circle. Um, the other point of contention for me is the sponsor doesn't need to break up this pattern. You can solve this like here, give it a blue outline and it would look perfect that you have the full bar and then why not have it on, 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 on the back. Don't get me wrong, I'm very, very excited to see this jersey back, uh, this look back, but it ultimately falls short and I have to dock it a few points and therefore only seven stars. However, the away does almost everything right. It even chooses the lighter blue, which makes it for me more pleasing to look at. Again, the here the really, literally the only bone of contention I have is that the sponsor breaks up the pattern. That should not happen. But everything else, very good. And maybe the barcodes could, could continue back. But I like it from the color that the sleeve cuffs are actually left plain. It actually, I hear the the classic PSG away pattern is a lot better represented than on the home home jersey. Nine stars. Really, I like it that, that much. Although I liked last season's uh, third, that was the white, that I liked even better. But then PSG starts at high, but the, the, the two alternatives, I mean, yeah, Jordan, and yes, the colors is from the Jordan's personal Air Jordan uh, uh, sneaker. And maybe, I mean, as I said, when my wife saw so I was like, oh, this looks all right with the colors. This looks beautiful. I said, yeah, that might be true, but this is not PSG in any shape or form. This is pure marketing genius, one has, has, has to say, trying to put something fashionable out there that has nothing to do with the club, except that there's a logo on there uh, in black and gold. And the Jumpman, of course. No, no, I... Because it's not such a bad, bad jersey, um, because the colors are, are pleasing, I'm not gonna go in the bottom three, but it's only four stars. I do not like this one, really. And the newly released fourth jersey, which was only worn in League A, and I probably will not see in the Champions League, but I featured here because now in the League A jersey review, we didn't have a full look here, we have now a full look. It. <sighs> WTF, really. Um, I suppose the city lights of Paris are in there. This is horrible. From the color, same as the Leipzig away jer jersey, uh, to the colors, I mean, no. This is horrible. This is horrible. Absolutely disgusting. This jersey is so... N everything in PSG is not. Except that, yeah, we need to make money because we try, try to be fashionable. But I'd be caught dead in this one. Literally. So I will end on a low note with one stars. Let me know what you thought about this jersey. I really wonder who likes this particular jersey. I really wonder who does. Uh, but you know, I'm open to listen to convince me other, uh, other, otherwise if you do like it. It's my personal opinion. I hate it with a vengeance. In any case, let me know your thoughts on these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.